guys, this is Cooper with Tracy Aviary, and today I am going to talk a little bit about the two doves that we have uh, locally here in Utah and how to tell them apart. Um, so our two main doves that we have in our area are the morning dove and the Eurasian collared dove. And at first they can be a little tricky to tell apart, um, but a really good thing to listen for uh, is how they sound. So. We'll start out here with our lovely Sibley, um, and I'll show you guys the morning dove. So this dove is a little smaller, a little darker, kind of a browner dove, and their tail shape is a bit different. Um, you'll notice that if you look at them. But uh, what's really different is how they sound. So let's listen to a dove song. <laughs> So yeah, that's the morning dove song, um, and you can hear that it has five syllables. So it goes, ooh, 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 So five syllables, really low, kind of sweet sounding song. Um, and that is your morning dove song. Now, let's switch over to our Eurasian collared dove. Um, so these guys are a bit bigger, a bit lighter, kind of more pale gray of a dove. Um, and they're actually not native to this region originally. That's why they're called Eurasian. Um, and they sound a little different. So their song is, is kind of a three syllable song. So let's listen to that. So it's kind of three syllables in a row. They go coo coo, coo coo, coo coo, coo. And they repeat it a lot. So coo coo, coo. Um, and that's your Eurasian collared dove song. And now another thing that you probably often hear from our collared doves um, is a call that they make uh, sometimes when they're startled or oftentimes when they're kind of flying in and landing on a branch, they'll make this sound. <laughs> um, which isn't the most pleasant sound, but it's really, really distinctive for your collared dove. So, um, yeah, so get outside, see if you can find some of these two doves and listen for them, see if you can hear them making any of these sounds. <laughs> 